Hi guys, we've been sent a instructional video on a virtual tour of our boat. So if you guys check this virtual tour out, and then you'll be able to operate yourself. To be able to operate it yourself, there's actually a link in the description so you can go to Mosquito Nautica's website. <laughs> I've been practicing that, you can tell, can't you? <laughs> um, yeah, so the video basically shows shows you how to operate, it shows, shows, shows you around a few quick briefs and stuff, but when you go to the website, there's a lot more embedded and you can see you go from 2020 to 2021, and you can also go back to all the way to 1944. I'm not sure how they did that, but they did. So yeah, go and check it out. It's well worth a watch. Okay, welcome to this virtual tour of Sorinda, former Second World War HDML. This video is really just a bit of an instructional video about how to use this virtual tour. I know that they're not the most easy things to follow, except for by those that have actually built them in the first place. They're really designed for house showings and don't tend to lend themselves particularly great to the boats. I mean, once you get on board, it's a lot easier, but getting on there, this is where I'll step in. So I'll give you a quick guided tour, then hopefully you can access the virtual tour itself and have a look around. I'm doing this through a set of virtual reality goggles. Um, more than likely you'll be doing it on your computer screen, so just use your mouse to move around change your field of view. It may take a while to get around the whole thing, so don't worry too much about doing it all in one go. Just dip in and out, have a look around and enjoy yourself. Um, you'll see better detail than through these goggles. Uh, the goggles tend to downgrade the quality a bit. But moving on, so you'll find these hot spots. You click on the hot spots and they'll take you around and you can have a look around at each point. Up here you'll see this particular one that'll take you straight on board on the foredeck of Surrender but you can look a bit further around the boat at these ones and just take in the exterior of it. Another one over here and not all of them will take there's actually a hot spot here and there's a hot spot here when you get on board you'll see but sometimes you have to go to the correct screen for the hotspots to appear so there you go and this takes you up on board looking around there's your hotspot there now then there are a couple of little extra treats in here this particular shot here was taken back in 2020 prior to Gemma and Simon taking on the boat but we have since been back and taken some in 2021 featuring some of what Gemma and Simon have done to the boat so if we go on to that quickly and you'll see a few changes going on here like I say just have a good explore around you won't see other hot spots in this just um, just the one that will take you back to the 2020 and then yeah 2020 you can continue your tour around here what I'll do take you every now and again you'll see an arrow now and the arrow will take you t to a place where the hotspot doesn't necessarily feature in the image itself so that arrow's taken us you see you can't see the hotspot over there and on the aft quarter deck so there's an arrow that points you in that general direction but you'll see another hot spot in that these circular ones you'll be standing pretty much on the spot where it takes you we've got another 2021 view there and an arrow this one takes you inside the boat and again a 
2020 view. There's your next guide. Let's take you through to the thing. Um, Oh, there's a 2021. There are also a few hidden Easter eggs around here now. I won't give too much away, uh, just because it'll spoil the fun, but there's a few extra little treats, and over the course of time we'll be loading more details in. Um, Pop-ups and things don't work through VR goggles, but they do work uh, on a normal computer, so you, you'll see them appearing, so come return to the tour every now and again and you'll see new features and we'll post when new features have been added there'll be videos inlaid into it and there'll be photos and <clears throat> other fancy little media tricks as as they become appropriate but yeah so look around this will take you back outside back to this spot here but let's go in and I'll show you a little bit more of what we've got going on in here. So this takes you through to the lounge area. Now I didn't actually get any shots of this in 2020, so just to confuse matters, this is the 2021 view. Um, I did an extra few shots that I didn't manage to get first time round, so um, yeah, it's not perfect. It's it may be a little bit confusing from time to time, but I mean, leave a comment, ask questions, ask whatever you like, and we'll do it. This this bit a bit <laughs> this bit's a bit complicated. Uh, this one takes you up to where the flybridge used to be, so you can have a look around here, and then back down again. Okay, and then this takes you down to the aft quarters. This takes you back to the wheelhouse, and this one takes you down to the forward quarters. So you've got, have a quick look around. In 2020, here was a kitchen. 2021, it's now a workshop. Looks a lot better. There's still some work to be done for them. Flip back. Okay, and then that's the engine room. There's some special treats in the engine room actually, so it's worth having a, a look at it. We don't only go back in time, a, well, we don't only go forward in time a year for this, we also go back in time quite some time. So there's some little treats for you to have a look at with that. Moving forward, there we go, another hot spot, and let's go forward again. There we go. Oh, there you go. I'll um I'll leave you to find discover those for yourself, but we're quite proud of those. I will give a little spoiler though, it's not actually this boat, but a sister boat that features in those particular shots. Um this one takes you through into the four peak. I just had to stick the camera through this gap here, but again there's a before and after shot for that. Okay, and so we'll just quickly go back, go back again, go back again, and back to here. Let's see if you can spot the Easter egg. So you see, once you get used to navigating around it, it is fairly straightforward. Um, but yeah. Okay. And on that note, I'm going to leave the boat. I really could put a shortcut here, but I won't. This kind of takes us back. Like I said, I just introduced a little shortcut here just to get you up onto the boat a bit quicker if you don't want to explore too much of the mud on the outside. And this is 
our starting point. Okay, hope that makes sense. Hope um, you enjoy the tour. And any questions, please go ahead and ask all you like. Thanks very much.